Hey fellow developers, ever built a Flutter app where the UI freezes during heavy operations? Maybe you're parsing a large JSON file, compressing images before upload, or running intensive calculations that slow everything down. That's where Flutter isolates come in. Instead of overloading the main thread, isolates let you run long running tasks in parallel, keeping your app smooth and responsive. Isolate while keeping the main thread free for UI interactions. This makes your app faster, more responsive, and professional. For example, imagine you're parsing a large JSON file. If you run this operation on the main thread, your app will become unresponsive. Instead, by offloading it to an isolate, you can process the data in the background while keeping the UI fluid and interactive. Imagine your app is like a busy kitchen. Main isolate, main kitchen. This is where all the food, your UI, is prepared and served. It handles everything that the user sees and interacts with. If you overload this kitchen with too many tasks, things slow down, and customers, users, get frustrated. Background isolate, extra kitchen. This is like a separate kitchen that works on heavy or time-consuming tasks, like preparing a complicated dish, so that the main kitchen doesn't get bogged down. The extra kitchen has its own space and tools, and it communicates with the main kitchen by sending finished dishes back how it works in Flutter. Run app. When you start your app, you're using Run app to launch the main kitchen, the main isolate, which handles the UI. Compute. For simple one-off tasks, like chopping a few vegetables, you can use Compute. It quickly sets up a small extra kitchen, does the job, and sends the result back, all without you needing to worry about the details. Isolate.spawn. For more complex or long-running tasks, like preparing a multi-course meal, you might need to manually set up an extra kitchen. With Isolate Spawn, you create a new background isolate. You use a receive port in the main kitchen to wait for the finished dish. Finally, there's Isolate.run, a newer, flexible option that simplifies running a task in the background while still keeping things easy to manage. Using these methods ensures that your heavy tasks don't bog down the main kitchen, keeping your app fast and your user experience smooth. Want to dive deeper? Check out the official docs at flutter.dev for more details. If you found this useful, hit the like button to support the channel. Subscribe for more Flutter tips and tricks, turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Got questions or suggestions? Drop a comment below. Happy coding, and see you in the next one.